Hello guys, my name is Dimitris from Structural Details and in this video I will demonstrate how you can use our fully parametric floating cantilevered staircase with your Revit projects and how you can adjust all the parameters to create different variations of such staircase. Here are a few variations we've created to demonstrate capabilities of this Revit family. You can have concrete steps with a glass balustrade, even remove the glass balustrade, increase the thickness of each step, make it look like a stepped bottom staircase. You can also add a steel fin support at the bottom, change the depth of each step, change the materials. You can also add a top tile or parquet finish. Make it fully wooden with a concealed support system. And even have a very thin metal plate with a tile finish on top. So let's see how we can load our family into any project any Revit project and change all the parameters. So here we are. For the purpose of this video we quickly created a small project model where you have a ground floor uh, level 1 at 3 meters height and uh, one wall so we can support our staircase onto it since this is a wall based family. First we need to load our family, placed it here on my desktop, load family, architecture, component, stair floating cantilever staircase. Now the program is looking for a wall to attach the staircase onto it. As soon as you move your cursor close to the wall, there is our staircase. I'm just going to randomly place it anywhere and go into our 3D to see how the staircase was placed. We actually need to flip the staircase and change the height according to our level 1 height. So go back to my ground floor plan view, select the staircase and flip it over. Go to my first level and align the staircase to the edge of the floor above. Align and lock. Go back to our 3D. Let's see if the height is correct. Edit type. We have a height parameter which is actually at the correct level. If that wasn't the case you could have easily changed the height to the desired floor level. The staircase will still remain aligned to the edge of the slab and Change the height and automatically adjust all the steps and the staircase run. Change it back to 3 meters. And go to our 3D. So we can see all the different parameters we can change with the staircase. So, few visibility options we have. We can uh, remove the glass balustrade if we want. Just by, by selecting the checkbox, turning it off and back on. We can uh, remove or include the metal uh, wall uh, fin support. And we can also include or turn off a top tile or parquet finish on top of the of each step. Go back to my parameters, turn off the top finish. Other parameters we can use, we can change the depth of each step. It's currently at 300, we can make it 350, 400 or anything according to our design. You see the staircase is automatically adjusted and changes the complete run of the staircase. 
we can change the thickness of each step, make it 100. Remove the fin from the bottom. And we can also change the overall width of the staircase. Let's make it 1 meter. We can adjust the height of the balustrade. Let's make it 1100 millimeters. And also, very important, the desired riser of each step. 180 is the optimized staircase height. You see how the staircase automatically adjusted to the parameters we gave it. Plus, we can change all the materials, including the glass balustrade, the little glass supports, the top finish of the step, if we choose to turn it on, the actual step material, and the steel fin support at the bottom. Very quickly, let's go through the parameters and uh, create a few variations of this uh, staircase together. So, edit type. First, I'm going to change the thickness of the step. I'm going to make it 50. Include the steel support at the bottom. There you go. You have another version of such a staircase. Or make the thickness very thin. Include a top finish on top. Let's make it completely concrete. I will use a thickness of 120 millimeters. Turn this off and turn the steel support underneath off. There you go. Or you can change the material. Instead of concrete, make it wooden. And uh, if we change, we can turn the balustrade off. And if we change the thickness of the pitch step to the actual riser height, so the amount of number of variations anyone can create is basically unlimited and you can use this with any project and have a powerful fully parametric floating staircase to be used with any project thank you for watching